Today, Deputy Kyle Kroon lost his career. But he's not the only one affected by a decision the judge said broke public trust. He was a very good officer, um, very good with public relations as well. Um, and this just obviously puts a bad light on the sheriff's office. Um, and we're, that's something that I feel bad for the staff because they're the ones who are going to have to deal with individuals out there. Judge Terry Vagert said Kroon's relationship with the young girl hurt her mental health and her reputation. Before handing down his sentence, Vagert said, I hope you spend time looking in the mirror and thinking about that. With tears in his eyes, Kroon apologized to the girl's family, the community, and his wife and kids. You know, it appeared that he was abusing his position as peace officer, as the judge said. Um, so he's out of that position. He has a further evaluation in order to assure that this kind of thing doesn't happen. Kroon will not have to register as a sex offender because Malone says the prosecution couldn't prove he had sex with the 16-year-old while on duty. The charges we felt we could prove, uh, we charged. And he pled guilty to those charges and uh, the sentence uh, seems to be consistent with what would normally be given then. Kroon and his wife didn't want to comment after his sentencing and they weren't at their home later on. Sheriff Bruggy says people in the community have been supportive, but he knows there's some work left to do. You don't expect law enforcement to be in this position because we're supposed to uphold the law.